In the 1840s, John W. Griffiths, a ship designer from New York, designed what would later be called the Extreme Clippers. Large rigged sailing vessels with long thin bows for merchant work that sacrificed cargo capacity for speed. Built in the shipyard of Smith and Demon of New York, Rainbow was launched on the 22nd of January 1845 for the Howland and Asperol firm, also based in New York. She would be the first of these new type of clippers, with a length of 159 feet, a beam of over 31 feet, and a draft of over 18 feet, weighing in at over 750 tons. She was described as a handsome vessel, and was put to work transporting cargo between New York and China, sailing her first voyage on February the 1st, 1845. She proved to be a fast ship. On her second voyage from New York to China and back under the command of Captain John Land, took 179 days, including two weeks of loading and unloading, a record that few ships have beaten since. In 1847, Captain Land was succeeded by the veteran Captain William Hayes, who was due to retire after his next voyage. On the 17th of March 1848, Rainbow set sail for what would be her fifth voyage. Her destination was Valparaiso, Chile, before sailing across the Pacific Ocean to China. However, after several months of waiting, she failed to show at Valparaiso. Despite a prolonged search, no trace of the rainbow or her crew was found, and she was declared lost. It has been widely speculated that the ship foundered whilst traversing Cape Horn the southernmost tip of South America, an area known to be a danger to shipping. As of the time of this recording, the final fate of the Rainbow and her crew remains a mystery.